I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of an excellent question from my subscriber Robert. Here we will understand how to find area of triangle using analytical or coordinate geometry. The question is triangle ABC is formed by points A41, B-16 and C110. Given that the equation of the line segment BC is y equals to 2x plus 8 and the length of BC is square root of 20 centimeters find the area of triangle ABC. Now Robert let me first uh, say thanks to your teacher this question is relatively simpler than what it could have been since you're already given equation of the line BC and also the length of segment BC right so so anyway, but I will teach you how to find them for benefit of my other subscribers. So in this question, what we are really given are three points, which are 4, 1 for A, for B it is minus 1, 6, and for C it is 1, 10. We are also given that length of BC is equal to square root of 20 and the equation BC equation of the line BC is let me write down as y equals to 2x plus 8. Many times when I see such a question in the test paper this information will not be given to you. So some of my subscribers uh, who may not know how to get this for them the steps to be followed are that we have to find slope of this line that means you first find slope of line BC using the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 right once you find the slope use this slope to find equation of the line bc which will be y equals to this slope which is mbc times x plus b now to find the y intercept b you have to substitute the coordinates of the point minus 1 and 6 in this right so i'm not doing calculations at present ultimately you get this equation right now to find the distance between any two points we use distance formula in this solution we are going to use distance formula so we'll see it later anyway distance bc is given to you as square root of 20 right so that is the distance given to you now in a triangle what is formula for area area of a triangle is equals to half base times height so since we are given BC we'll consider BC to be the base right if BC is the base what is going to be the height and what is going to be the length of the height that is what we need to find to find that we have to drop a perpendicular that means a perpendicular from A which is the opposite side of this segment BC to the line BC right so that is what we have to drop a perpendicular from A to BC and then let us say it is at point let's say P where the perpendicular touches BC then we have to find the length of AP right so that length of AP will give us the height and then we can substitute that here to find the area of the triangle so these are the steps involved correct so we have understood our steps involved let us now begin with finding the point P where the altitude that is a perpendicular from A to BC correct can intersect so let's first find equation of line perpendicular to BC so we'll find equation of line from A perpendicular to line BC okay so this is what our first part is I'm squeezing in since I may have to you know it's a lengthy solution right so equation of line perpendicular to BC that means slope of BC is given to us as slope of BC is 2 right so this slope when you calculate you will get 2 as this equation and B when you calculate you'll get 8 so we know slope of line BC is 2 so slope of line 
AP which is actually perpendicular to BC should be negative reciprocal right so that should be how much so slope of line AP which is perpendicular should be negative reciprocal so negative 1 over 2 correct so we know the slope so what we know from A is that the coordinate points A are 4 and 1 and the slope of MAP which is my perpendicular from A to BC is minus half now we can use this formula find equation of this line AP right so so the line AP which we'll find we say y equals to slope is minus half x plus b right so we'll use the same steps and find the equation of line AP to find the y-intercept we'll use the point 4 1 4 is the x value y value is 1 right so we get 1 equals to minus half times 4 plus b which is minus 2 bringing it to the right side we get 1 plus 3 equals to I mean 1 plus 2 equals to b which is 3 right okay so we get the y-intercept of this line as 3 right 4 divided by 2 is minus 2 so when I take minus 2 to this side it becomes plus 2 so we get the equation of line AP as y equals to minus half x plus 3 correct so we know equation of line AP now we need to find the point P itself right so what we need to find now is the intersection so we need to find intersection of line AP and line BC right so so that we find the point P correct so to find the intersection we'll equate these equations correct so at that point we have a common point so so same y values correct so we'll equate these two equations let me call them as our equation number one and two right so we are going to equate these two equations now so we get minus half x plus three equals to two x plus eight bringing x's together and constants together we get three minus eight equals to two x plus half x I mean and when you add this up you get 5x over 2 right 2 and a half 5x over 2 and this is minus 5 right so minus 5 equals to 5x over 2 and therefore you can now say x is equals to cross multiply correct so that should be x is equals to 5 and 5 will cancel minus 2 correct now if x is minus 2 what is the y value so you can substitute this value let me call equation 3 for us into this equation right since it's easier right so we get y equals to minus half and we'll substitute x value which is minus 2 plus 3 so so that cancels so we get we get minus 1 plus 3 that is 2 right oh sorry so sorry uh, minus half and minus 2 will make it plus plus 1 and we get plus 4 okay so plus 4 is the value 4 so the coordinates for P are so the coordinates for point P are x value is minus 2 and y value is 4 you get the point now we know what P is right so we can find the length AP so let me use a different ink now so the length AP should be equals to square root of we are using distance formula right point A is 4 1 and point P is here so we'll use this distance formula square root of okay so let's plug uh, so x2 minus x1 so x values are let's say 4 minus so it becomes 4 minus minus 2 means plus 2 whole square plus 1 minus 4 or either way you could do 1 minus 4 whole square right so if you use calculator let me use calculator or you could directly also do let me just use the space this is 36 and this is 9 right so you get this as square root of 45 correct so that is what you get 4 plus 2 is 6 6 square is 36 1 minus 4 is minus 3 square will be 9 so when you add 36 and 9 you get square root of 45 so now you know the height also right so what we know here is this height which is AP got the idea so now we will write down area of triangle so let me use the 
space we have area of this triangle is equals to half of base is given to us as square root of 220 okay time square root of 45 you get the idea units are centimeter square perfect so you can use calculator at this moment and calculate the answer so we have half of we'll multiply by half later square root of 20 okay times square root of 45 okay times well 0 0.5 half is 0 0.5 gives us 15 so we get answer as 15 perfect the units are centimeters square right so that is that is how you do it correct so so that is kind of solution for us i hope uh, you understand what we did here so let me go through this solution once again actually i also wanted to sketch the the diagram of the triangle which which we can now mess around with the little space we have here okay so what i will do is i will sketch the diagram here oh good job <clears throat> so the colors which we haven't used will be used here now okay i hope you don't mind my messing up with this solution what we are given is a triangle abc which is formed with points a 4 1 so 4 1 let us say it is here b is minus 1 6 so minus 1 6 could be somewhere there okay and then 1 and 10 will be somewhere there so we have a kind of triangle here right so i'm making everything small since we have understood what the solution is right so that is our triangle abc and that is the line bc which we are given and equation is 2x plus 8 that means this point is 8 for us okay and the slope is 2 what we really found was line perpendicular to this correct so so when we found a line perpendicular to this that was ap so ap the coordinates of p were minus 2 and 4 so they were kind of here right slightly away because this point you know is 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 6 high value minus 1 so this is minus 1 6 so minus 2 and 4 over here so from my drawing it doesn't really look like a perpendicular but it is really a perpendicular let me make it perpendicular okay so we found the point p here p whose coordinates were minus 2 and 4 so this is perpendicular and the equation of the perpendicular we found was from this equation negative reciprocal of 2 is the slope right and we found y intercept using the coordinates of point a so once you get this equation then we equated the two equations to find the common point of intersection p and then a to p the distance was calculated here using this formula once you know altitude height of this triangle then you can use the triangle formula to calculate the area as we did right so i like you to draw this triangle to the scale on a graph you will then appreciate that this really is perpendicular which is outside the triangle right it's kind of tricky but i hope robert it helps you to understand all the concepts let me know if there are some other questions i'll be more than glad and thank your teacher from my side for sharing such good questions with you thank you and all the best